the fact the fact is that yes there are of course people who are trying to politically grandstand uh, who want to make a name for themselves by claiming that they will not comply but the reality is that the state police is responsible for enforcement as are all law enforcement all across this state and they will in fact do their job or they won't be in their job Hey everybody, Todd Vandermine back for another edition of Freedom Steel, former NRA contract lobbyist, Illinois gun law guru, and that was a clip from our governor a year ago, where when the sheriffs were saying they weren't going to enforce this law, he had some very curt words for them, threatening their jobs. So uh, let's play that again. The fact. The fact is that, yes, there are, of course, people who are trying to politically grandstand, uh, who want to make a name for themselves by claiming that they will not comply. But the reality is that the state police is responsible for enforcement, as are all law enforcement all across this state. And they will, in fact, do their job or they won't be in their job. And here's another quote from an interview that the governor was doing. So. Let's listen to this for just a second. Well, the requirement over the next year is for anybody that owns an existing assault weapon or any weapon that's banned under this law to register them, the serial numbers, with our state police. So they have a year. Uh, there isn't any need for sheriffs to be enforcing anything over the next year. Uh, so, you know, I think it's a lot of grandstanding, frankly, and I know there are some of them that are opposed to the law. Uh, but the fact is they've signed an oath of office uh, to uphold and enforce the laws of the state of Illinois, and I expect them to do so. So here we have it. But the funny thing that happened on the way to a gun registry is it didn't happen. So we know that 29,357 people have registered something with the state police of that 69,000 firearms have been registered for an average of 2.3 firearms per person. Uh, however, uh, the state police issued a statement and they responded to a couple of radio stations and newspaper inquiries. So quoting the uh, Effingham radio, it says, and I'll put it up here on the screen, the Illinois State Police won't pursue charges against Illinois residents who didn't register their weapons at that fall under the new law by January 1st deadline. The ISP says that the FOID portal will remain open and people can submit endorsement affidavits at any time. Residents who fail to register weapons that fall under the law could face felony charges more than 29,000 registered residents have registered assault weapons. Uh, and it, it all they've also talked about the fact that they're not going to pursue charges. That's interesting. So uh, let's flip over here to a story from the patch and uh, let's quote this here. However, as of Monday, Illinois State Police, the police website uh, had not been updated with the latest data on how many gun owners registered in 2024. A spokesman for the agency told the patch on Monday that updated data is expected to be coming out later this week. But state law does not outline penalties for owners who failed to meet the deadline. The FOID portal will remain open for people who submit endorsement affidavits, the spokesman said in a statement sent to the patch. Quote, ISP is focused on compliance with safety. While the act set deadlines for submitting endorsement affidavits, it did not set forth penalties for late submissions. But didn't the governor say something about enforcing the law or they wouldn't be in a job? Well, let's play that again. 
But the reality is that the state police is responsible for enforcement, as are all law enforcement all across the state. And they will, in fact, do their job or they won't be in their job. That's what I thought you said. And since you're the one that announced that it's state police that are responsible for enforcement, um, explain to me how and under what authority the state police get to ignore the deadline of 1124. Tell me how that happens. And if they're issuing public statements that they are not going to see charges against people who didn't register their firearms, uh, have you had that conversation with the director? Have you had that conversation with the command staff? Did you have that conversation with the PR spokesman for the Illinois State Police? Uh, how does that come about? Or are they just doing whatever they feel like and they don't answer to you? I mean, because I thought you were quite clear that people are going to do their jobs and enforce the law or they're not going to be there. So, which is it, Governor? I mean, which way is this going to go? Because you seem to be, you just absolutely seem to have those, uh, that thong of yours twisted into a knot up your butt crack about when the sheriff said we're not going to enforce this. You certainly seem to be just all a mess uh, about that, not understanding that you have no control over the sheriffs and local states, attorneys that they are independently elected constitutional officers. But now your own agency said they're not going to enforce various parts of this act. I mean, I understand we're not gonna uh, we're not gonna refer people who register late for charges. I, I understand that that is uh, law enforcement discretion in how they decide to charge people, not charge people, forward information, not forward information. I get all that. Uh, I, I really do. Uh, I'm quite amazed that your state police and anybody that tries to register late isn't forwarding that information to hostile localities and police departments like Chicago, Highland Park, those in Lake County. Uh, but that's that's your pejorative under their discretion. But that's not what you said a year ago. So has this whole thing been one big you know, virtual signaling on your part. I mean, you've had a million plus gun owners flip you the bird and sit there and say, ain't happening. I ain't registering shit. You ain't getting squat out of me. And then you're trying to bump your numbers and say, well, we're going to keep the registration open. Under what, under what authority under law? Where? Where does it say you can do that for Illinois residents who missed the 1-1 one, one deadline. Now, the General Assembly wants to go in and pass uh, a different law that changes that deadline and puts a longer grace period down to, say, June of this year or something like that, maybe. But you don't, I don't see they have that authority. And this is a case where the state police just make it up as they go along and the law is whatever they want the law to be at any given moment. So, um, Kind of be interesting to see if somebody asked the governor about his prior statements and state police actions today, given uh, if he has any press availability. So just um, kind of an interesting summation there. But hey, guys, as always, thank you very much for the support here. Uh, please like, copy, paste, subscribe, uh, share this link of the video around. We're going to try to get through a few more. Uh, quick updates. My wife is doing better. We are working on finding a rehab course for her. We're trying to decide on what that is going to do. We continue to thank you for all your thoughts and prayers. If I look a mess today on the way home last night from being with her, uh, I got a flat on the car on I-88. So in this zero degree weather, that was a lot of fun. And I hate Toyota engineers. I really hate Toyota engineers for the way they have, um, where they put the spare and all that stuff. Uh, on another front, my grandson had a seizure the other day. 
He then had a second seizure in a number of hours, which he's never had before. He was taken by ambulance back to the hospital a second time. They intubated him, and he was on a life flight out to Rush. Same hospital my wife's at, different, um, different side of the hospital. Uh, and reports are early this morning that they were able to uh, pull the breathing tube on him. It seems that he has COVID, and with being sick, the fevers trigger his seizures, and he had never had two in a row like this before, and that's what gave concern to everything. So we appreciate all your, uh, your, your concerns, prayers, uh, comments, and everything about it. Uh, we're going to keep rocking on here, uh, and, and we really do appreciate all the support. Just it, it means the world to us. It lifts our spirits and keeps us going. So uh, with that, as always, guys, please uh, hit that subscription bell. Let us know what you're thinking in the comments. And as always, frag out.